in this video, I am going to show you how to sublimate a shot glass, okay? So this is really cool and you can actually do it with your seven in one tumbler. Uh, press or if you have the eight in one tumbler press you can buy the attachment and this will actually fit on there as well so this sub this um uh shot glass attachment is sold separately so the first thing that we want to do before you start heating up is you actually want to take off the um attachment that you have and we'll, we will use this so with the seven in one tumbler press which i have it obviously comes with seven different pieces so we're going to twist all these screws um, to remove the 30 ounce tumbler um, attachment, which I use for 20 ounce tumblers as well. It works really well. I actually like that it extends beyond um, the end of the um, tumbler because it, it makes it so that the edge is not getting like wrinkled. You know how that some, sometimes happens. So we're gonna remove that. We've gotta unscrew all eight of these. And then when we put it back on for the, um, for the shot glass attachment, we're only gonna use four. It only has two holes on each side. So that'll be really easy to do. Okay, so after you unscrew them, then there's gonna be another piece, and I'll show you here in a second, um, that you have to unscrew the, the heating uh, cord. I don't know what the official name is. Okay, so we put all those there. So it's um, currently unattached here, but we wanna make sure that we also detach this piece here. So just gonna unscrew that um because that is plugged into the pa to the um, main control there okay so then the attachment will just kind of slide out of there mine is screwed on okay i'm just gonna put it to the side to be honest with you okay so now we have the um the shot glass attachment our shot glass will go right in there okay it'll be able to squeeze it really tight and we will be able to sublimate that so let's attach this and then once that's attached on there then we will begin the heating process now again you only need to use four of these um i'm doing it right in the middle okay let's see adjust the um once you get it on there you can you'll obviously have to plug in this heating cord as well. So I'm actually gonna close this a little bit so that it's easier for me to put the screws in there. And like I said, we only need two. <clears throat> okay, now this is such a small heating element that it's going to heat up extremely fast. All right, so we'll just attach this, connect it to that. We're gonna put this on 385. And I'm gonna do it for 190 seconds, okay? So that, you need, for ceramics, you need um, a good amount of time. All right, okay. And then we'll just power this on. And I'm gonna hit set. And once it starts blinking, that's the temperature that it's currently set on. So right now you can see 349. So I'm just gonna increase that to three, what did I say, 385. And then I'm gonna hit set again for this, the number of seconds. So I'll increase this again um, to 190 and we'll see how long this takes um, to heat up. And then I'm gonna click set and that's gonna start, hold set, sorry. And that'll, that'll begin the heating process. Now, while this is doing this, let's get our shot glass ready. Okay, so I have my shot glass here and I actually, I don't even have a wrap. You can do a wrap easily, but I'm actually just gonna take pieces that I had from um, a printout and I'm just going to tape them around randomly. Okay, that's the telling me that the seconds are ready. I can tell you it's already up to 241. It's going 247, 48. Every second it's basically building. This is gonna be super fast. So we'll tape these on here. I'm gonna do two pieces. I'm gonna tape here, and then I'm gonna tape another one on this side, um, just kind of to be random. You could put one one design if you wanted. You could put um, a wrap around there. Whatever it is that you're you're trying to do, I'm just gonna use some temp uh, high temperature tape here. I didn't bring my <laughs> my tape dispenser to my new office yet, so I'm here struggling with the um, roll of tape. All right. Okay. So we will tape this on here. I'm just going to a little piece of tape right there and keep that on there. 
obviously I printed this on my sublimation printer. So you need a sublimation printer, obviously. I have a SG-1000 uh, right here. I also have two Epson sublimation printers, true Epson sublimation printers. Um, and Epson 170, which is an eight and a half by 11. And I also have, um, I also have an Epson 570, which is the bigger Epson. Okay. All right. Now, so we have our whole thing taped. You can trim this if you want. This will be fine, but I'm, I'll trim it. Just trim that down and same thing on the bottom. This will help us avoid wrinkles if we trim it to size. Okay. And then I'm going to put a couple more pieces of tape just to make sure everything stays nice and flat the wrinkles are where you get ghosting so you want to try to avoid that right because the it's the little air it's air that gets in those little wrinkle pockets and that's what ends up causing um the ghosting all right so i'm just gonna wrap this put some bunch of tape on there I want it to be see how this is kind of really easy you want to increase that enough that it you have to use a little a little force right Okay, so we'll put this in. Oh, I did too much. And then set the timer by pressing the button on the side. Okay, and 190 and we'll wait. Now, I'm gonna go at about, when there's about 100 seconds left, I'm going to open this and rotate it um, 180 degrees because there's a small gap right in here and I just want to make sure that the whole thing gets even um, amount of time. So we'll wait until it gets down to about 100 seconds left remaining and then I'll rotate. You can see I'm wearing a glove. This is really hot. As you know, it's 385. It will and it's it's not abnormal for this to fluctuate for the time to go, or for the temperature to go down a bit and then it'll rise back up. So don't worry if you're seeing that. All right, so we'll open this. Whoops. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, Melissa. All right. This is really hot, even with the glove on. All right, put that back in there. <laughs> You never know what's going to happen when you're crafting with Melissa. All right, I'm going to put all the supplies, what the seven in one heat press, the gloves that I'm using, the uh, shot glasses that I'm using. I'm going to put all of that, the tape, everything will be in the description. So if you're looking for the supplies to do this, everything will be in the description of the video. You can also find it. Um, I'll pin it as the top uh, comment on this video as well. And then if you're looking for more sublimation videos, I always have lots more. So here we go. We've got now we're down here. Oops, man, that just comes right out of there, doesn't it? Okay, so now this is all ready. You can see this is really hot. So I'm just going to hold this with two hands, uh, gloved hands, and then I'm going to use some tweezers or if you've got some, this is not going to work. Those aren't very good. Some type of hook or something to peel this all off. And let's see, that wasn't all one piece, that's why I have. Wow, this came out really pretty. These would be great for like little gifts, uh, bridesmaids gifts, or little custom, you could do anything. I love, 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 love how that came out. That's so awesome, so cute. And obviously this will cool down. Um, so again, your time and temperature, 385 for 190 seconds. And you saw, I did turn in between, that took me about 20 seconds because I dropped. <laughs> But that's what happens live, right? All right. All right, you guys. If you're interested in making some custom sublimation um, uh, shot glasses, check out the uh, supply list in the description below. And if you're interested in what sublimation printers um, are available for, you know, whether you're a crafter or a small business, I've got a whole bunch of different tutorials on uh, both the Epson sublimation printers and the sawgrass as well. See you soon.